10 Things People Buy When They Have More Money Than They'd Ever Need what is the most expensive item or thing you've ever bought? For you, it must be your phone, electric gadgets, cars, or home. But if you were to put the same question to any extremely affluent individual, however, they would likely give you an answer that was quite absurd and ridiculous. Well, you have so much money that you don't know what to do with it. It might not seem like a big deal to spend $8 million on a preserved shark, $2.2 million on a gold bathtub, or millions more on luxurious super yachts and private islands. This is because you have more money than you know what to do with. Have you ever thought about what you would like to do if you had this kind of money? Just think. Hey everyone, welcome back to Unlimited Money, which tells you every news, update, information, and things happening around the money space. So let me know, guys, in the comments below how everybody's doing. How's your day going? Today we're back with a very interesting topic. We hope you all love to watch this one. I asked you at the beginning of the video, what would you do if you had all the money which you never expected? Let us know in the comments section your answer to that too. I guess with that kind of money, you could plan a trip to foreign countries, or buy your dream car, or home, or maybe spend a lot on clothing and ornaments and many other similar things. In today's video, we're going to tell you what actually people should buy when they have more money than they'd ever need. So guys, before starting this video, just one request, please, if you haven't already done so, subscribe to our channel, and also hit the bell icon so you never miss out on any updates. So let's start our video. We're going to mention 10 things which people should buy with the money they have if they've got a lot. Number one, tickets to outer space. Many celebrities, including Ashton Kutcher and Katy Perry, have reportedly purchased seats on Richard Branson's Virgin Galactic spaceship for a trip to space. The initial payment that Kutcher made towards his $200,000 ticket was $20,000. Perry gave her now ex-husband Russell Brand a $200,000 ticket to Virgin Galactic for his birthday in 2010. In May of 2018, Branson stated that two or three test flights were all that stood between Virgin Galactic and sending paying customers into space. Number 2. Fossils When money's not an object, spending a few hundred thousand dollars on the bones of a long-extinct creature is not a big deal. Something fascinating and important from the past, right? Nicolas Cage outbid Leonardo DiCaprio for a $276,000 Mongolian dinosaur skull in 2007. After learning that the skull had been taken without permission, Cage eventually handed over to the appropriate authorities in the United States. An unidentified bidder paid approximately $2.6 million for the fossilized remains of a dinosaur, that belonged to the genus Allosaurus and purchased them at an auction in Paris in June of 2018. In 2014, millionaire Steve Cohen, an investor in hedge funds, purchased a 14-foot preserved shark for an amount that ranged between $8 and $12 million. Number 3. Gold Toilets and Bathroom Displaying your extreme wealth may involve enveloping yourself in as much gold as possible. A jeweler in Hong Kong dropped $3.5 million in a luxurious toilet room outfitted with a solid gold 24 karat and other precious stones. The room, which was completed in 2001, continues to be recognized as the most expensive bathroom in the world. Mike Tyson, a former professional boxer, once spent $2.2 million on a 24 karat gold bathtub. Number 4. Private Islands the super-rich like to spend their money on islands. For $300 million, Oracle founder and billionaire Larry Ellison purchased 97% of a 90,000-acre Hawaiian island in 2012. When Sir Richard Branson was just a young entrepreneur, he spent about $320,000 to purchase Necker Island in the British Virgin Islands. In 2005, Leonardo DiCaprio spent $1.75 million to acquire Blackador Cay, a small island off the coast of Belize. The actor-turned-activist has been busy constructing an eco-resort on the island, which will be run entirely on renewable energy and is scheduled to open by year's end. Number 5. Luxurious Super Yachts Super yachts are owned by some of the world's richest people. In 2010, Russian oligarch Roman Abramovich purchased the yacht Eclipse. Different sources put the price anywhere from $600 million to $1 billion. The Eclipse is equipped with two helipads, a missile defense system, two swimming pools, a movie theater, a spa, and a restaurant. The Rising Sun, David Geffen's $590 million super yacht, is equipped with a basketball court and can accommodate 18 people overnight. Geffen invited the Obamas to spend a day on his yacht in April 2017. The President of the United Arab Emirates Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nayanan owns the world's largest motor yacht, which measures 590 feet in length and costs $600 million to construct. 
So guys, by now we've discussed five things that you all could buy if you had enough money for it. I hope, friends, that you've enjoyed the video so far. We know things are quite hard to get this ultra rich, but look at the stuff you could get once you're there. Now we'll tell you the rest of the five things on our list. You guys have any guesses on what it could be? Let us know in the comment section right now before we pick up the video. And again, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you can shower some love on us. Number six, private planes. The extremely well off also frequently shell out for private planes as a means of transportation. The Saudi prince, Al Olid bin Talal, spent $319 million on a super jumbo jet in 2007, renovated it to the tune of more than $500 million, and then sold it to an unnamed buyer. Alishur Usmanov, a businessman and one of Russia's richest men, owns an Airbus A340-300, a luxury business jet that costs at least $350 million and is seating for up to 277 passengers. The second wealthiest man on the planet, Jeff Bezos, has a $65 million Gulfstream G650ER private jet. And Bill Gates has a private jet too. His is a $40 million Bombardier BD700 Global Express. Number 7. Movie Props and Memorabilia Who wouldn't want to spend millions or even billions on movie memorabilia if they had the chance? A lot of people actually do that. The Lotus Espere from The Spy Who Loved Me was purchased by Elon Musk in 2013 for $886,000. This vehicle transforms into a submarine in the film. When I found out it couldn't actually change forms, I was dismayed. To make the transformation more real, I plan to install a Tesla electric powertrain, the billionaire recently said. Number 8. Massive Car Collections In fact, many of the world's richest people have a passion for car collecting. Bill Gates is a huge fan of high-end automobiles, and shortly after starting Microsoft, he splurged on a Porsche 911. He keeps 23 cars in his various garages. As might be expected from the CEO of Tesla, Elon Musk has owned a wide variety of automobiles, including a James Bond-inspired submarine car. His previous rides range from an Audi Q7 and a Porsche 911 to a Jaguar E-Type from 1967 and a Hammond BMW. M5 sports car. Number 9. An Entire Town Yes, this is correct. You could own an entire town. This has been done by a few different celebrities over time. We thought we would include this one on the list. And number 10. Second Passports Possessing multiple passports is another sign of affluence. Financial advisor Neri Katz, CEO of the global investment firm Apex Capital Partners, told Business Insider that such purchases serve as a status symbol because they demonstrate one's financial stability to one's peers. To become the citizen of many countries, including the United States, it's necessary to fulfill certain requirements. However, you can buy it outright in other places such as Austria, Cyprus, Malta, Turkey, and some islands in the Caribbean for at least $100,000. It'll cost you about a million dollars to become a citizen of Malta and $2.3 million in Cyprus, and it'll set you back a whopping $23.7 million to obtain an Austrian passport. So, these are things which, according to me, the rich people, or should I say ultra-rich, should not miss out on buying. We hope you have found all 10 of the things good and worthy enough. And guys, if you know of anything else we forgot, just let us know in the comment section. Before we move on, please make sure you like and share this video, and subscribe to our channel, where I promise you, you will find more very cool videos just like this one. Hey, hit that bell icon too so you never miss any updates. Thanks for spending time with us today and have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching.